What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are not going to be talking about this or about computers and stuff. Today we're going to talk about the Alexa Amazon ordeal that's going on right now. It's called Sidewalk for you that live under a rock and are not sure of it. Basically what it is, if you have an Echo Dot, if you have a Ring device, any type of Alexa Echo branded device, any type of Ring de branded device, and including your iPhones and cell phones, which we will get to that here in a minute. I got a couple of keynotes that are really important that you guys are definitely going to want to hear. So, Amazon's idea, sidewalk. Basically what they want to do is, let's say you have Amazon Alexa in your house and your neighbor has it as well. But let's say you have great Wi-Fi and your neighbor does not. Basically what they want to do is they want to take your device and their device and connect them all on the same network by allowing a little bit of your bandwidth to go to them. So what exactly does that mean? So basically your bandwidth, think of your bandwidth in very simple layman terms as a pie. Now that pie is going to be cut up into let's say 10 equal pieces. What they wanna do is they wanna give two of those pieces to your neighbor because your neighbor may not have good Wi-Fi. So if it can take a little bit from you, it will then allow them to have better service. Now there are some pros and cons to this and I'm also gonna show you how to opt it out because you have until June 8th. After June 8th, there is no going back. You're in it whether if you like it or not and they're going to do it to you whether if you like it or not. Which also brings up some other issues which I'll get into in a minute as well. But there are kind of some good things about it. Let's say like your Wi-Fi fails and you have cameras that are hooked to your Wi-Fi like your Ring doorbell Ring apps and stuff that have the cameras. Well, if your neighbor has good Wi-Fi and yours fails, that could actually help you, meaning that their Wi-Fi will come over and keep your cameras still rolling while your internet went down, which is kind of a, that's kind of a good thing, okay? That's really like the only good thing about it. It does allow people, eventually, it'll allow people to backdoor into your network, and that's not what we want. So, Amazon, is basically forcing us into this picture. So, bottom line, if you don't want this to happen, you need to go on your Amazon Alexa app. You gotta have the app. That's where it's located at. It's not located in your Amazon on the computer or in your settings. You have to have the Alexa app. You have to have it. If you have an iPhone, guess what? This also pertains to your iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, your iPhone now becomes a hotspot. Basically, that's what it is. This sidewalk program is going to turn all of your Alexa devices and all of your neighbors into Wi-Fi hotspots, allowing other Alexa and other Echo Dot or Ring devices to connect to you. Now, the concern comes is that, well, what if somebody's doing something wrong on like what if the person is doing like looking up things they shouldn't be looking at or doing stuff on their internet like I don't want to be responsible for that because what if they're using my internet to look up dirty or wrong things I don't want to have the cops come to my house because this person is using my network to look up this kind of crap well there are some good things and bad things that can come with that. One, um, this could break a terms of service agreement that you have with your cell phone provider or with your network provider, meaning that you have certain safety that are guaranteed to you. And one of that is the ability to share your information. So you could tell your internet provider, hey, I don't want this. Um, I don't want to share my network with my network with nobody. 
They say, no problem, here's a password. Enable for me to get on your pass, get on your Wi-Fi. I need your password, right? That keeps us safe. That keeps me from getting into your network and getting on your cameras, looking at your baby monitor, doing that kind of creepy stuff, okay? Sidewalk is going to allow Amazon, not other people, but Amazon to see everything that you do on the internet. So if you have Sidewalk enabled on your iPhone, okay, I am Amazon. I can see everything that you look on your phone, right? So you have your phone and let's say you go to Google and you're looking up shoes, you're looking up dirty things, you're looking up how to do stuff or whatever, Amazon's going to know about that. They're going to be able to see it. So you got to get rid of this sidewalk crap. There's just so many things to go into. Alexa app pulled up, right? This is how you opt out of this crap. First you go to, you go to more, all right, go to more. After you go to more, you get this list that pops up. You wanna go to settings, settings. Okay, so you go to settings and then you go to account settings and then in account settings is gonna be Amazon Sidewalk, all right? That's what you wanna go to, Amazon Sidewalk. You click on Amazon Sidewalk, all of this crap's gonna come on, and then right here at the bottom, it'll say enable, flip that to where it says disabled. Mine has already been flipped, so I am disabled. This is so they can't do this, all right? You flip this one little switch, and it's gonna save your butt from all of this mess. So you guys got until June 8th. I'm putting this video out right now, it's the second, which it's fixing to be the third. So this video is going to be out on the third. That still gives you a couple of days to do it. So that's where you want to do it at, the Amazon Alexa app. Guess what, Alexa? I just turned off Amazon Sidewalk. Now you can't tell the neighbors what's going on over here. Ha, 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 ha. What do you think about that, Alexa? Exactly. You ain't got nothing to say. That's because I shut you down, bro. All right. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to leave a like. If you're new to my channel, check out some of the things I do. I build custom computers. I work on RC cars. As you can see, we got this awesome shop and that we build all kinds of cool stuff in here. Cameras, computer stuff, like I was saying. I mean, you guys got to check out check out the channel subscribe definitely make sure to leave me a like on this i appreciate you guys thank you for listening <sighs> y'all be cool